You want Chinese class? Chadia, Vishaya, we don't want the Vishaya, go away, right? We want the, the Hari Hari, the Kirta and the holy name. So we want that taste. So we have to worship with very determined, very, very eager to get that very valuable thing. So this is the song, right? Very nice, very meaningful. Okay? So. Baja Baja Bhai, Chaitanya Nikai, Sudhita Vishwa Shakoi, 
Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu went to Jarakant. Jarakant Gaiti? <laughs> no, not been to Jarakant. I went to Jarakant. It's a holy place. Lord Chaitanya's pastime there. Lord Chaitanya went in Jarakant and he was chanting the holy name. And he got all the wild animals to also chant. Oh, we did the drama two years ago. We were on the safari and we went to many places. We went, oh, we went to Patna. We have a big temple in Patna. And we did the drama, Lord Chaitanya in Jarakan. All the devotees dressed up as the animals, you know. We had different dresses. We had the elephant suit and the tiger suit and the monkey suit. Oh, it's so funny. The whole stage was covered with the devotees in these different dresses of animals. And one devotee was Lord Chaitanya and he was chanting and he would touch one animal with his foot and the animal would become ecstatic and would start to dance. And the tiger became gentle and would embrace the deer. All the ferocious animals became gentle by the association of the holy name. So this was Lord Chaitanya's Leela in Jaraka. Is there video? Mm -hmm. yes. Video? Yeah, it must be, it should be video then, yeah. It was a couple of years ago, two years ago now. But yeah, it would run very nice. We, we do many dramas when we go on safari. The Russian devotees come also, they're very good in the drama. I saw that drama. You've seen that? Yeah. yeah? Okay, so uh, Lord Chaitanya would be in Jarakant, he would be chanting. You know what he would chant? Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. No, he chanted something else. He chanted 
Right, he chanted that mantra. He was chanting. It's in Chaitanya Charitamrita, it says that. Krishna, Krishna. Krishna Keshava, Rama Raghava, Rama Raghava, Rakshama, Krishna Keshava, Krishna Keshava, Parima. Very, very nice. So Lord Chaitanya liked to chant different names of Krishna. Lord Chaitanya would sing many beautiful songs about Krishna. So we're remembering all the pastimes of Lord Chaitanya. Jarakhand is one of the places. There's a temple there now in the forest, in the jungle. You can go there and see. Okay, there's one more verse to the song. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and he wrote beautiful songs like this one about the pastimes of Chaitanya and Nityananda. He's a great devotee but he's very humble. He said, I'm very far, he said, I'm in this world of material existence. I have no taste for the holy name. I have no taste for the mercy of Lord Chaitanya and Lord Nityananda. He said, I'm very unfortunate. He said, Yamaraj is punishing me by not allowing me to be attracted to the Sankirtan movement. Some people, very unfortunate souls, they have no attraction for the holy name, no attraction to worship Krishna. They're attracted to Vishaya. They have no taste for Krishna. They're very unfortunate souls. 
So Lord Chandas, he's a great devotee, but because he, 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 he's so advanced, he's very humble. He does not think he's a good devotee. He thinks I'm very fallen, I'm very low. Uh, so that is the nature, just like Naratam Das Thakur also. Naratam Das Thakur. Sometimes we sing the other song about Chaitanya. And, you know, we sing Shri Krishna Chaitanya. Daya Parama Hare Toma Vina Devaya. So this, is, this is Naratam Das, you see Naratam Das is saying that you are Patita Pavan. Who is Patita Pavan? Gauranga. Who is Patita? Gauranga is Patita Pavan. Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Gauranga is Patita Pavan. Who is Patita? Patita. You are fallen. You are Patita. We are all fallen, right? We are all Patita. So Naratam Das Thakur also said, pa he said, I am very fallen. He said, you are Patita Pavan, so you should save me first. My cl I'm first to get saved because I'm very fallen. So that's the thinking of the devotee. They're eager to get the mercy of Lord Chaitanya, right? Yes. Are you Patita? Yes. Yeah? <laughs> yeah, we're Patita. We are fallen souls. But Lord Chaitanya is Patita Pavan. He's come to save us by giving us the holy name. Hmm? So we want to take advantage of the mercy of Lord Chaitanya. Okay? So did you sing that song before? Paramakaruna? Did you know that song? Yeah, I know the song. It's in the song book, right? Okay. You know? Vajahore Yeah. 
Son of Nanda Maharaj, right? Abhaya Chara Bajahu Hure Mana Sri Nanda Nandana. We should worship Nanda Nandana. Who is na who is the one who gives pleasure to Nanda Maharaj? Krishna. Right? Krishna is the, the darling of Mother Yashoda and Nanda Maharaj. So use our mind to worship the lotus feet of Lord Krishna. And then, and what's the benefit if you fix the mind on the lotus feet of Krishna? Right, in the material world everyone is full of fear. We're always worried, fearful, fear maybe no money, maybe the money will run out, but fearful. Maybe the health will go, maybe we'll get very sick. Anger is a... Huh? Anger. Anger? Really? <laughs> yes, angry. Oh really? You get angry? Yeah, I get angry. Yeah, you have to control that. You have to be careful. Greed also. Greed. Anger and greed. Remember Bhagavad Gita says three gates to hell. Three yes. uh, What are they? 
Every sane man will want to avoid that, these things because it will take us to hell. So we have to be careful. But if we worship the lotus feet of Lord Krishna, they will be will become fearless. Abhayachara nara vindure. Durlava manava. We're very fortunate. We've got the human form of life, right? Very special to have the human form. How many forms of life are there? 84, 84, 84, 84 lakh. 84 lakh species of life. How many human species? 4 lakh uh, 34,000. 4 lakh. 4 lakh as human species, right? So, we are fortunate. We've got the human form of life. But we're even more fortunate because there are many humans and they don't have association. Hmm? Dullabha manava jana masat dara We are very fortunate, we have got association. Sadhu sangha, sadhu sangha, sadhu sangha, sadhu sangha. Right, we are fortunate to get association. We are fortunate to have the human body, we are more fortunate to have association with the devotees. In the association of devotees, we can cross over the ocean of material existence, right? That's the benefit of association with the gotis. Satam 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 Karana Rasayana Krita. Right, by hearing the topics of Krishna in the association of the devotees, then it's very pleasing to the ear and to the heart. And by this hearing, by hearing, then we will develop the. Tajoshana Jash Apavarga Vatmani Shradhara Tir Bhakti Ranukramishati. Shradha. Bhakti anuk Shradharati Bhakti Ranukranishati. So Shradharati Bhakti, they all come one after another. By hearing the topic of Krishna, we can develop the, the taste, the higher taste, the ruchi, and, be, and become steady in our devotional service. So that's a good fortune to have the human form of life. But there are problems. Right? What are the problems? Sita, Atapa, Bata, Parishana. You don't get much rain here, but sometimes you get rain, right? There was heavy rain for three days, right? This year. They had a big flood at some places here in Dubai. Just only three days, a big problem. Very, but this, when it's not raining, then it's scorching hot. Very hot. Temperatures go all the way up, 52, 55, like that. So like we have to tolerate so much heat, so much rain. You have to tolerate the um, Kripana Durajana. Who is that Kripana Durajana? You have to work for people who are wicked, nasty. <laughs> Did you ever work? Did you work like that in the job with people who are not very nice? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No. I'm still studying. You're still studying. Yeah. Didn't work yet. Okay. So people, you know, many people they have the experience. You know, when they get they get the job, they have to work. Sometimes the boss is not very nice. Sometimes the employers. You know, they could be very harsh. They're wicked, miserly people. They'll want you to work long hours and they'll pay you less minimum money. Isn't it true? Yes. 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 Many Thank people you. like that, working long hours from early in the morning to late at night. 
and they will get very small salaries, they won't be paid much, and they're working for people who are very rich, people who have a lot of money, they have big cars, many cars, many wives, <coughs> a lot of money, and they're sinful people. <coughs> Maybe they kill the cows, eat the meat. So you have to tolerate all of these things. Why? Why do we tolerate? Because we want chapala sukha. Chapala sukha, the flickering pleasure, very short pleasure, right? Work all year and you get a holiday after one year, you get a holiday. Maybe two weeks you can go somewhere. You, get, you work all week, you come to the weekend, you get the maybe one day off in the weekend. Like that, people working very hard to get some chapala sukha, flickering pleasure. Pleasure which does not last very long. Pleasure is very short, material life. The pleasures are very short, right? Your holiday is not very long, well, very short time. So people are tolerating all of these things, so many difficulties. And then the song says, Edana Yovana Putra Sarita, your wealth, your money, the value is less and less every year, you know. Why? Because the cost of living is increasing, increasing all the time. The expenses are increasing, the tax is increasing, so many troubles. So your wealth, what, what you were having, you think, I have got money, but then so many expenses, you have to pay rent, you have to pay travel, you have to eat meals, so much money is, there's nothing left to enjoy, very left. So like the Edana Yovana, your youth is gone very quick, right? Your youth, you know, we're thinking, we come here when you're young, you pass 20 years here, <coughs> 20 years here. When you came, you were a young woman, right? <laughs> now you're twenty years older, right? The time changes. You were a little girl, now you're the te younger woman, yeah? Quickly, the time goes very fast. The youth is very short, doesn't last very long. You're studying now, how long will you study for, you see? Very quickly, time will be over, you have to find a job, you have to get married, you have children. You, before you know it, the life will be over, right? That it, isn't right for anyone, it goes like the ocean. Yeah, that's right, yeah. In China they say, time moves like the arrow. You know when you fire an arrow, you don't see the arrow go. You hit, hit the target, but you don't see, it moves so fast. So time is like that. You know, we, you may be thinking time is slow, but in a few few more years, you know, it, it goes faster and faster. The time goes very fast. Before you know it, you know, the life will be over. Edana Yovana Putra, Putra, she has a son. Two sons maybe even, two sons, yeah? Two. Where are they? One has gone to work, the other one's gone for masters to America. <laughs> yeah. You know, they leave you, they're not gonna stay with you for very long, are they? You know, when they're little children, they'll hold your hand and you can walk with them and they listen to you, yes, mommy, like that. But now they're grown up, they're men. You know, they don't need the mother anymore. The mother comes to see the son, but the son is just... He doesn't care. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
I didn't tell my younger son that you were so like you're a you're a tailor model boy till you went to the high school and all. She said, "Mama, I have grown up. You think I will be like a puppet?" <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's the facts, right? So, Adana Yoga, Putra, Parijana, all the things in relation to the family, to the home, you know. There, he says, Kamala Dala Jala. They're like a drop of water, water. on mm -hmm. the leaf of the lotus. Yes. Yes. The lotus leaf is waterproof, you know. It, it, the water doesn't get absorbed. It rolls off the leaf, right? If you put a drop of water onto the lotus leaf, the drop will roll off into the pond bank, into the pond. So these things are like that. Your wealth, your youth, your son, your family, all of these things, they're just like a drop of water okay. on the lotus leaf and they will fall back into the pond. So. What, what should we do? We have to take shelter of devotion of service, right? We have to cultivate our relationship with the Supreme Lord, with Lord Krishna, Lord Hari. Mm. So, how to do it? How to worship Lord Hari? Shravana, Kirtana, Smarana, Vandana, the nine Angas of Bhakti. Devotional service begins with shravanam, hearing, just like you're all sitting very nicely and hearing. So this is important, hearing is first thing, we hear, hear. Lord Krishna says in the Bhagavad Gita to Arjuna, said, now hear from me Arjuna, how by practicing yoga you can know me in full, free from doubt. So hearing is the first step of bhakti yoga. You hear and when you hear nicely then you will repeat, then you can chant, right? So shravana is followed by kirtan. Kirtan is where we repeat what we have heard, right? We hear the maha mantra, we repeat the maha mantra. Are we here? I'm not the body and we repeat. I'm not the body. We hear, I am a servant of Krishna and we repeat, I am Krishna's servant. So the shravanam kirtan smaranam, remembering, remembering come. When you hear nicely and chant nicely, then we will also remember Krishna. Guru very important to remember, remember Krishna. Smartavyam satatam vishnu vishmartavyam jatu krit sarve vidhi nishita shor etayore vakinkara Of all the rules and regulations, the most important thing is to always remember Krishna or Vishnu. Never forget. Very important. And so, who who became perfect by hearing? Parikshit Maharaj. Parikshit Maharaj was hearing. Who did he hear from? Sukadev so Goswami. Yeah, so Kadev Goswami was chanting. And Maharaj Parikshit was hearing. And who became perfect by remembering? Prahlad Maharaj. Prahlad. Yes, Prahlad Maharaj was expert in remembering Krishna. They were, they were say, one devotee, Narada Muni was saying to Prahlad, you're the greatest devotee, you, Krishna always protected you from so many dangers, you're a great devotee. And Prahlad said, no, no, I'm not so good. He said, I, I don't do any service. I always remember Krishna, but I don't do any seva. He said, you should go and see the devotees who serve Krishna. So Prahlad, Prahlad is also very humble. Anyway, remembering, hearing, chanting, remembering, and then worshipping. 
who worship Krishna, who worship? Lakshmi Devi. None of them. Worship. Archana. Akrura. They are Akrura. No, Akrura offered prayers. Akrura is offered prayers, right. Who offered worship? Prithu Maharaj. Prithu Maharaj, right. Prithu Maharaj and fourth canto, Prithu Maharaj is doing yagya. And then offering prayers was Akrura. And then serving the lotus feet, of course, is Lakshmi. And who be became Krishna's servant? Hanuman. Hanuman. Yeah, Hanuman's always the servant. And then who is the friend? Surrendered. I was studying the prayers by Queen Kunti. You know the prayers by Queen yes. Kunti. Mm -hmm. So she has some very nice prayers to Lord Krishna. You know, Krishna ya Vasudevaya. Namo Pankaja Namaya, Namo Pankaja Marine, Namo Pankaja Nitraya, Namo Pankaja Nitraya, Namo Pankaja Very good. You've been reading Prophet's books. These are beautiful prayers by Queen Kundi. She's helping us to remember Krishna. How to remember Krishna? When we see the lotus flowers, we can remember Krishna. The lotus flowers remind us of Krishna. Queen Kunti is showing us when you see the lotus flower, you think of Krishna. Why? Because Krishna has lotus like eye, lotus eyes, the lotus eyes, eyes and the, his navel is marked with the depression of the lotus, and his feet are also engraved with the lotus flower, and he has a garland of. Lotus flowers. Lotus flowers, yeah. So in this way, when we see lotus lotuses, we can think, oh, Krishna, remember Krishna. We want to practice remembering Krishna. It's very good for us. So Queen Kunti was so nice. She offered these wonderful prayers. I was going through them one by one. Okay, this is one. This is uh, text number 39 in chapter 8 of the Bhagavatam, first canto, chapter 8, text 39. Niyam so bishyate tatra yate dhanim gadadhara twakpade ankita bhati svalakshana vilakshitai Queen Kunti says, O Gadarhar. Yeah, have you found it? 1 8 39. Got it? Yeah, you can repeat. Neyam sabishyate tatra gadadhara. Tatpare ankita bhati, Tatpare ankita bhati, Swalakshana vilakshite ha, Swalakshana vilakshite ha. Neyam subhishyate tatra, Neyam subhishyate tatra, Yathe danim gadadhara, Yathe danim gadadhara, Tatpare ankita bhati, Okay. 
Translation, O Gadarha Krishna, our kingdom is now being marked by the impressions of your feet and therefore it appears beautiful. But when you leave, it will no longer be so. So Queen Kunti, you know, she's praying to Krishna because Krishna was getting ready to go to Dwarka. His family was in Dwarka, right? He has many wives there and children, all anxious for him to come back. And all the Yadu dynasty, they were all there in Dwarka. So they wanted Krishna to come back. Krishna also wanted to go back to be with them. But Queen Kunti and the Pandavas, they wanted to keep Krishna with them because Krishna had been saving them from so many calamities, so many dangerous situations. So Queen Kunti is describing how how the, the kingdom was so beautiful because of the footprints from Lord Krishna. Just like when Akrura came, Akrura was sent to Vrindavan by Kams to bring Krishna and Balaram. So when Akrura came to Vrindavan, he saw the footprints of Lord Krishna on the ground. And so he rolled on the ground and he rolled in the dust and took the dust of the holy dham all over his body. So Lord Krishna's footprints are very special. Usually in the temple they will have also the different markings which are there on the sole of Lord Krishna's feet. And you can see some of the different things like there's a, an instrument for controlling an elephant a gourd, they have this metal object, you know, if you have, know anybody who is taking care of elephants, they're given this sharp metal object, they stick it in the elephant, you see, and this way they can control the elephant. So this is one of the marks on Lord Krishna's lotus feet. You know why? Because the mind, our mind is like a stubborn elephant sometimes. You know, sometimes elephants can be very stubborn. And so our mind is like that. And we need that instrument to control our mind, Lord Krishna, to bring the mind back to Krishna. And then there's also an umbrella on Krishna's lotus feet. Umbrella, you know why we have umbrellas? Why do you carry an umbrella? Hmm? Not to get ventilation. Not to get, when it's raining especially, uh -huh. to protect us from rain and sunshine. To protect us from rain and maya. Protect us from maya. Not only rain but also sunshine. sunshine. Right? sunshine. So protects us from the rain, yes. protects us from the sun. Protect from everything. And Prabhupada Pri Pri also said he used the umbrella for dogs. <laughs> if there's some dog, I'm proud for the take the umbrella. You know? <laughs> so umbrella is the way. But here the the umbrella is the shelter. Umbrella gives us shelter from these th things. So we need the shelter of Krishna's lotus feet. The Lord's lotus feet are like an umbrella, they're shelter us. And then also the lotus flower. Lotus flower is the symbol of Lakshmi and that's also there on the lotus feet of Lord Krishna. Anyway, there's many different marks all on Krishna's lotus feet and each of the marks have different significance in relation to Krishna. So these marks were on the, they were seen on the ground. Lord Krishna was moving here and there. He didn't wear any shoes. 
at one point Mother Yashoda wanted to buy shoes for Krishna, right? But then he too, then he did all shoes for many cows and all cows. <laughs> and how many cows did he have? Nine cows. <laughs> so, he made 18 light pairs of shoes. <laughs> so, Lord Krishna was walking everywhere and sometimes on the ground in Braja. Have you been on the pra Parikrama in Vrindavan? Yes, yes. Did you do the Parikrama? Yes, yes Madam. Did you go barefoot? Yeah. Huh? So you know the ground is... Yeah. So, Chilatinam Bridge is there, so too many stones and... All. So many stones, <laughs> sharp stones and thorns yeah. as well. But uh, we didn't feel actually that uh, happiness is there we are doing right? yes. this. Parikrama, I am going to finish. Okay. Very good. Yes. You didn't mind this. The gopis, they worry that Krishna's lotus feet are walking on the ground, on the sharp stones. And, and they, they think even our breasts are, when Krishna's feet are on our breasts, our breasts are too hard for Krishna's feet because Krishna's feet are very soft. So the, the, the gopis are. Uh, always worry for Krishna like that. They care about Lord Krishna. So Queen Kunti, she is appreciating how fortunate she was when Krishna was there walking in the kingdom, around the kingdom, that they could see these beautiful footprints. So Prabhupada, in his explanation of this verse, he quotes a verse from Chanakya Pandit. You know Chanakya, right? The moralist of India. He wrote an important book called Arta Shastra. Right? He wasn't really a devotee, but he was a you know a moralist. You know, he was a good man. So anyway, he he gives some example. He said he said the sky becomes beautiful when the moon is there. You know, when the moon is there in the sky, then the sky is more beautiful. And, she, and then he said, the state, a kingdom will be good when they have a good king and a good government. And they say, girls are also very beautiful, but they look most beautiful when they're with their husband. Right? When the young girl is with their husband, then they look more beautiful. And a person may be very ugly, but if he's a learned scholar, then he's also good, very beautiful. So Prabhupada quotes this, he said, he said, in the same way everything will look beautiful when Krishna is present. Do you see Krishna everywhere? In the Bhagavad Gita, Krishna says, Yo mam pashyati sarvatra sarvam chamai pashyati tashaham na pranashyami na chami na pranashyati. For one who sees me everywhere and sees everything in me, I am never lost to him, nor is he ever lost to me. So, we want to develop that vision to see Krishna everywhere. If we can see Krishna, then our lives are meaningful. If we forget Krishna, then that's a problem. So Kunti is saying, when Krishna is in our kingdom, our kingdom is very beautiful. But when Krishna leaves our kingdom, we won't be beautiful anymore. So we want Krishna, he should stay here. So the same way our civilization, our advancement, our progress in material life, we need Krishna consciousness. If we just have consciousness, well that's better than not being conscious, right? We should be conscious. 
but we want to be Krishna conscious, right? The perfection of consciousness is Krishna consciousness. Because one who is Krishna conscious, then dira dira jana priyo priyataro nirnatsaro pujitos. If they will see everyone, the dira and the adira, the, the envious and the gentle, the friends and the enemy, they will see everyone equally. So that is Krishna consciousness. We can see today in the world so much quarrelling, unrest, rioting, people fighting, so much disturbance going on. Why? People have forgotten Krishna. There's no consciousness of God anymore. People have forgotten. So we hope that the devotees will practice remembering Krishna. And Prabhupada also saw that people joined the Hare Krishna movement. He said, before, before becoming devotees, he said many of them were dirty and black-faced and miserable. But now they have become Krishna conscious. They're very bright-faced and of course they're very clean and they're very joyful. So there's a big transformation in their lives when people become Krishna conscious. So that is because we're connected to Krishna. That connection with Krishna is transforming us. Just like you connect with the power, hit, power station, you have the electricity supply and when you connect to the power station then you have lighting. You have air conditioning, you have everything, it's all coming, where is it coming from? From the connection to the power station. And in the power station there is the engineers who are arranging for everything. So the same way we want to connect to Krishna, Krishna consciousness. And Lord Krishna, He is the Supreme Personality of Godhead. And he has many engineers all working under him, the different devas or demigods. How many demigods? 33 crore, right. So many demigods are there and they're all handling the different affairs of this material world. Lord Krishna gives them some responsibility. but. They're not pure devotees. They're devotees, but they're not pure devotees. They have some material desire. But still, because they're doing important service for Krishna, we appreciate that. We're happy that they're doing so much. So, Queen Kunti, she wants also that. We have, she wants to see all the devotees happy in Krishna consciousness. <coughs> now to be in Krishna consciousness, to make advancement in Krishna consciousness means we have to avoid all the maya, all the sinful activities, right? We follow strictly the four regulated principles, we give up intoxication and gambling, and all of these things. Now they told me they're going to build a big casino somewhere. People want to go gambling to casinos. It's a habit and people very fond of gambling. And intoxication of course that goes on also. Different kinds of intoxication. Now in some countries they have made the marijuana legal. If you go to Los California or if you go to Thailand, these kind of countries, you know, they've made it legal for people to smoke the marijuana and they have these shops everywhere people are going and they're buying the marijuana and smoking. They, they, they made it legal. 
And of course they did the same thing with alcohol. It used to be that alcohol was illegal, but they made it legal that everyone can drink alcohol. I don't, maybe not here in Dubai. Is, is it allowed here in Dubai? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They don't have bars and things like that. Mm -hmm. They don't have places where people go to drink alcohol. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. 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 Really? Five-star hotel, big, big hotel there. Uh, about in Saudi, they don't do these things, right? In Saudi, Arabia, some places more strict than in other mm -hmm. And it, these, these sinful activities, they cover our consciousness, and then we forget Krishna. Right? There's a saying, uh, Krishna Bhulya Jeev and Adir Bahir Mukha, Itaiva Maya Taradeya Samsara Dukha. Krishna Bhulya Jeev, we've forgotten Krishna. How long? Since the beginning. So long ago, for a long time we've forgotten Krishna. And what are we doing? We're looking at the Bahir Mukha. We're only looking at the Bahir Mukha, the face, the external energy, the Maya, the bright lights. We're looking only at the material world and we're thinking only for sense gratification, for material pleasure. And what is the result of all that? So many suffering, so much misery, so much suffering. So, Lord Chaitanya comes. Jeev Jago, Jeev Jago, Gora Chanda Bole, Kota Nidra Jayo Maya Pisha Chira. Cool. Wake up, sleeping souls. You have spent your life in the lap of Maya. Now it's time to wake up and chant the holy names of the Lord. The Kali Yuga, Lord Chaitanya is very merciful. He's come to teach all of us to chant the holy names, to join the Kirtan. You do Kirtan every day? Yes, sir. Hmm? You have Kirtan? You do Bhajan, huh? Eh? Yes. Right, good. Yes. Yeah. Yes, yeah, we want. We should, we should chant. You know, we, we have uh, here in Dubai, you have the Nityam Bhagavata Seva. Yes. Yes, you're listening? Yes. And every morning we do arti and we broadcast it. Even you're at home, maybe you're not doing arti in your home. You do arti in your yeah. home? We Narayan Kavach. Huh? Narayan Kavach in our home. Narayan Kavach? Narayan Kavach. Really? Yes. Okay. And we're supposed to do Guru Vastika. You know Guru Vastika? Yes. Yeah? Do good, must they come? Yeah. Chat every morning? Yeah. Some side of the hour. Yeah, right. We do. Yeah. Good. So even if you didn't know, we do it. They do it and they broadcast on the Zoom. You can, you, or you can watch Mayapur. There was some Mayapur Mangalarti is very popular. Like to see the Arti in Mayapur. With many devotees. And very beautiful Kirtan. Melodious kirtan, very nice. So this makes the day auspicious. If you begin the day with Mangal Arti, your whole day will be auspicious. Very nice. We say the family which chants together advances together. The family which prays together stays together. Sings. Hmm? Family which sings together. The family sings together. Clings together. Clings together. <laughs> the family which dines dines together shines together. <laughs> so we encourage all of you continue your Krishna conscious activities. 
actually every one of us, you know, we all have some kind of sin. Because when we're walking there's so many insects on the path, there's different creatures in the water even. And when you're crushing the spices and things like that, there's so many. So we get karma in many different ways. And so we have to overcome that karma. How to overcome that karma? By devotional service. We take shelter of Krishna. If we take shelter of Krishna, then Krishna will nullify all of the reactions. That is the effect of devotional service. Any devotional service destroys sinful reactions. So this is important for us always to be in Krishna consciousness. All right, any questions? Mary, you just done her, you did the offering? You did the RT? Yes, yes, yes. Oh. Uh, Maharaj, I have a question. Yes. Uh, first of all, uh, Maharaj, like uh, in uh, NBS, we are doing uh, this chapter uh, in 11th canto about Avanti Brahman. So, uh, like, um, we find that uh, because of his miserness and later. Ah, yes. Because mother and father were pious a bit. So he was brought up like that, but to be a little pious. But he became very materialistic. He got money. And he got money and he wanted more money. You know, the nature of greed is like that. So he saw how he'd been very greedy. You know, you get some money, you, you never say it's, it's enough. You say, I want more. I want to get more money. But I, knew, I met this one man, and I was in Hong Kong, and uh, this one man, he was doing business. He made a million dollars. He told me, he said, I made a million. But he said, after I made a... He said, I want to make another million. <laughs> so like that, people, they do business their whole lives. They want to get more and more and more and more. Bigger, like our, what is it, Mr. Ambani, right? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Made so many mil billions and crores and crores. And so people want, to, there's no limit to it. They're never satisfied. So this Brahmana from Avanti Desh, he was making money, but then he lost it because his karma ran out. He never did any punya. You know, you've got people like the Buddha, you know, they make money but they do punya, they do, they build temples. And even uh, Tata, that Mr. Tata, I heard he did a lot of charity, gives a lot of charity, so his business is prospering. So the more you give, the more you get. Yeah. Of course that's not how it should be, we shouldn't give like that. So that's charity in the mode of passion. You give to get back. We say, they say, in Paisa Jaga, just like Malaga. That's not very good to think like that. But some people do. Anyway, this Brahmin from Avantiri, he was a bit like that. You know, he didn't do any charity. He was very miserly, didn't take care of his wife didn't take care of the family, didn't even pay the servants, you know, gave the, the servants all the bad rice to eat, you know, he wouldn't give them good food to eat. So they were all, nobody was happy with him. And then it happened, there was some problem with his business, maybe there was some fire or something, you know, but anyway, he lost all his money. And somebody cheated him or something. And he lost all of his money, nothing. And when he lost all the money, then nobody cared for him because he was so nasty anyway. He was very nasty and unfriendly. So when he lost all of his money, everybody left. Didn't want, they didn't care about him. 
So he was he thought about it for a long time. He you know he became introspective and he started to think, why is this happened, you know? Sometimes sometimes we become like that, sometimes we think, why this happened? What happened, you know? Why is it like this? And he thought he should renounce and he decided he would renounce everything. Of course, he had nothing to renounce, he'd already lost everything. But he decided he would be a renunciate, he'd be a renounced person. And then he got more trouble. People were really nasty to him. They spat on him. They passed urine on him. They, oh, he would come begging. Oh, they would be really nasty to him. But he took it all very nicely. He tolerated. He just, he tamsa ashtaya paratmanistam ajasitam purvatamer maharaj. It's a, it's a famous verse, the prayer from the Avanti Brahmana, that when you have difficulties, you should recite this verse. It helps you to tolerate all the difficulties which come in life. And his prayer is that, I will overcome all the obstacles by taking shelter of the Super Soul, the Lord in the heart. If you will take shelter of the Lord in the heart, then you can cross over all the miseries of material existence. So the Brahmana from Advanti Desh did this. When people were very horrible to him, very nasty, he just remembered the Super Soul and he thought, this is happening to me because of my past. Just like when things go bad for us, we should think, actually I should suffer more but Krishna is only giving me a little suffering. But I'm such a rascal, I'm so nonsense, I deserve to suffer more. And when you're happy, when you're joyful, you get success, you should think, I don't deserve this, but Krishna is just encouraging me. Krishna wants to encourage me. So I think you should see everything in relation to Krishna. Krishna is the controller and we are under his control. We are controlled. Either we are controlled by Krishna directly or by Maya. Maya. And Maya is controlling with the gunas, Rajagun, Tamagun, Shukagun. Mm, these gunas. Guna means rope ropes to tie you up, to bind you, to control us, to keep us under their control. So better to take shelter of Krishna. Okay, any question? You've all done Bhakti Shastri, huh? Did you do the Bhakti Shastri? Yes. Yes, ma'am. Yeah? Did you do Bhakti Vaibhava also? Not yet? Yeah, I think she got finished, no? Huh? Yeah, I see so. You did Bhakti Shastri? Bhakti Vaibhava? Six cantos. Yeah. Six cantos? Good. Finished that? Yeah? Finished Bhakti Vaibhava? Did you do Bhakti Vedanta in here? <laughs> now starting. No, again I do Bhakti Vedanta. Again you're doing Bhakti Vedanta. You want to do it again? Uh, because just standing, <laughs> not satisfied. Uh -huh. Redo. He herself is doing redo. Okay. Very good. Yeah. I also did the first module of the uh, uh, Bhakti Vyasa, but uh -huh. I am not satisfied with the shloka part. So oh. maybe I will go with the shloka part again. Yeah, focus. Uh, Many slokas. The memorizing one, yeah. yeah. Otherwise, the open book, closed book, yeah. Uh -huh. Okay, good.
Okay. What it sort of happens like you know uh, in the same family you know somebody you know advances and even getting the same kind of exposure the uh, the person knowingly uh, Krishna consciousness is important but uh, is not taking up so seriously. So you know how do we understand and how to motivate? <laughs> well, everyone's an individual, you know. You can't expect everyone will be devotee. I think your own example is the best way to motivate. Mm -hmm. If they see your enthusiasm and your happiness and pleasure in doing these things, then that in itself is the best way to motivate others. If they see your happiness. But family members, you have to expect that family, they don't always want to be the same, you know. You want the, the children will think, I don't want to be like my mother, I don't want to be like my father, you know. And they don't all have that same mood, you know, to follow mm -hmm. the parents. <coughs> Not always. They like to be different, go somewhere, be away. <laughs> rather than be under the parents' control all the time. So it, it depends on the particular family. Very difficult to bring people into Krishna consciousness. And bringing people, your family up to be Krishna conscious, it's the hardest thing. You can try to do everything to help them to become devotees and they may grow up and not want to be involved. Anyway, you need a lot of mercy. Prayer, <laughs> you have to pray. Yeah. Try. Maharaj, what is the best way for uh, getting free from greed? To get free from greed? Well, greed is coming because Lust. We have lust. Lust comes first and from lust, you know, you, you, you get what you want, you want more. You greed for more. So that greed, how to get, conquer lust, it's the same as greed. How to conquer lust by controlling the senses, regulating the senses and fixing the mind. You have to regulate the senses and you have to cultivate spiritual knowledge to destroy the ignorance. Because greed, greed is just due to ignorance. We're thinking we want more, want more, not had enough, I want more. So actually we should have greed. The, the, the real form of greed, and we should be greedy for what? We should be greedy to become Krishna conscious, right? Greed to love Krishna. That greed, that's the price to become Krishna conscious. That I want Krishna, I want love of Krishna more than anything else. Hmm? So you have to have that greed, low yam. This is the price of becoming Krishna conscious. Krishna bhakti rasa bhavita bhati kriya dhamya dot ye dot sri labhyate tatra loyam api moyam ekalam janma koti sukriterna labhyate. There's only one price to become Krishna conscious. The price is greed and there's no discount. You know, we say, Oh, come, say, come, kinna rupiya chai. What's the best price, the last price, give me cheaper. Oh. So we are thinking we want cheaper, but no discount. You have to pay the price. Price is low yam. You have to have that greed. Then you get Krishna. That's the price. Get rid of greed. Purify the greed. Use it for Krishna. Greed to be Krishna conscious. Don't just be greedy for money. 
greedy for money, greedy for fame. We had this one woman, oh please bless me, I can be famous. <laughs> she was a movie, in the movies, you know. So she came to the one senior devotee and she said, please bless me that I can be famous. <laughs> How many people can be famous? Not easy. Yes, you can be famous as a devotee of Krishna. That is real thing, to be famous as a devotee. So, greed also, greed for Krishna. Okay. Okay, Shura Prabhupada ki jai. Thank <laughs> you. 